and welcome to the boss guide to blade win the invoker in veteran Skullcano. This is the first boss of the instance and arguably the easiest. My name is Ramis and I play medic in the guild Grimwalls on Sur EU. When you pull the boss, one of, one of the minions around him will place down a lighting AoE. This will continue to cast throughout the fight so make sure you do not stand in this, as well as watching out for his primary cast in this phase. This is where he places the telegraph at each 90 degree direction around him. He will cast this every 10 seconds of the phase, so make sure you are ready for it when it spawns, and move out of it. In this phase he will also cast a lightning strike on your character. This is displayed with a red circle around you. Make sure you keep moving when it is on you, so you do not take damage when it goes off, and make sure to not place it under anybody else. The second phase begins when the boss is disarming everybody. Simply go find your weapon, and then go to one of the four minions and stack on them. Periodically, you will get a red circle under you and a blue marker on your head. Place these on each minions. You need three of them on each minion to break their two shields and kill them with the third lightning strike. A message will state that they have become wisps and you move on to the next minion. The phase is over once all the minions have, it, have been de dealt with and a message appears which states that Bladewin has lost his protection. Make sure to also watch out for the wisps that spawn that go around the room in this phase and make sure to always stack on the healer to be able to get heals. You will also uh, do the telegraph with a 90 degree direction during this whole phase, so make sure you do not stand in this. That's basically it for the second phase. Make sure to stack on your healer. Do not get hit by the wisps and place the the telegraph under under the minion. The the, the third phase starts with a, a disarm once again. So find a weapon and stack on your group for healing. All the wisps from phase two will continue to go around the room. So make sure you watch out for them. Meanwhile, you will also have the lightning strike from phase one. So make sure to stay out of your group when you get it on you, and move away from it when it detonates. He will also periodically cast electrostatic pulse, which can be interrupted. If you do not have enough interrupts for this, simply move out of the area of the cast, where there are no red telegraphs, but remember to watch out for the wisps. That's basically everything you need to know for uh, Blade Wind the Invoker. Make sure to uh, always stack on your healer if possible. Make sure to uh, interrupt all the electro elect electrostatic pulses that you can. And make sure to watch out for the wisps, the wisps in the third phase. If you have any questions regarding this fight, then please leave a comment in the YouTube section and I'll be more than happy to answer any questions I can. My name is Romis.